Uh, this wall. It's been good to us, hasn't it? Yep, it's a good one. But all things end eventually, don't they? Stay tuned. <laughs> We just released our review of the MSI VR1 backpack PC this morning, but in the news today are a couple stories about different solutions to the VR tether problem, namely making VR wireless. First, HTC has put up an accessory for the Vive on their website called the TP Cast for around 220 bucks US. It attaches to the top of the Vive's head straps with a battery held in the back and apparently can get you one and a half hours of wireless playtime. The device was only up for pre-orders on the Chinese version of the site until it sold out, but global availability could be coming soon soon. In the meantime, researchers at MIT are actually working on a prototype known as MOVR, or Mover, I don't know, which would attach to any VR headset to enable wireless functionality. <laughs> Those wireless VR dongles came out before backpack PCs even had a chance. It's okay, Lampy. It's, <laughs> it's okay. A price list for upcoming CPUs from Intel has shown a Core i3 chip with overclocking capability. The leak listed a number of parts from Intel's KB Lake desktop line, but the most interesting was the Core i3-7350K, what could be the first i3 with an unlocked multiplier. Multiplier. The 7350K also supports hyperthreading with two cores and four threads, and a boost clock of 4.2 gigahertz. The price listed is 177 bucks US, not bad for an overclockable multi-threaded chip, Looks like the rumors of AMD Zen has got Intel shaking their boots. Oh no, oh no please AMD. <laughs> That's your face, Intel. <laughs> And Samsung has announced it's moving forward with the acquisition of US audio company Harman for $8 billion. Bucks. Greenbacks whatever you want to call it. It's the largest acquisition Samsung has ever made and they're making it for the expansion capability it would provide them in the automotive market. FYI, that means cars. Harman owns a number of well-known brands that produce audio parts for cars, including Harman Kardon, AKG, JBL, and the NBA. Except that last one, that's, that's not true. It's time for... Quick Beats. Yeah, so that's from May this year. Uh, somehow we never saw it in our document where we keep track of QuickBit submissions. Until now, we saw it. So, I'm sorry. I really liked it. If you want to see yourself in Netlink, send us a clip of yourself saying QuickBits. A Twitter user posted a photo of his PS4 Pro apparently showing burn damage, and now hashtag Meltgate is now spreading on Twitter. But it appears this is the only case so far, so let's just evaluate the evidence first. This is really a post-Galaxy Note 7 world, that's for sure. Video Cards has gotten their hands on leaked info suggesting the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti could be coming soon with 10 gigabytes of VRAM. That is nasty. The Power Watch is a new fitness band that powers itself using your body heat, sucking your life force away, so while you think you're exercising, you're really feeding the dark power that lives inside a totem you're wearing on your body, so I don't think this is a good idea. Toys R Us Canada has apparently leaked the price for the Nintendo Switch, and it's 329 Canadian, which is roughly 244 US. Seems a little low, so is the battery sucky? Or like, maybe Nintendo just feels bad about the Wii U? Please buy this. Watch Dogs 2 is out tomorrow tomorrow for consoles, but the multiplayer mode will have to wait. Ubisoft has just discovered some issues with the mode, so they'll be delaying its release until they can work out a patch. And Seagate has launched some pretty large portable hard drives sporting five terabyte capacities. And it's covered with alum aluminum, aluminum, metal. So that's flashy. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. I don't know. <laughs> what is fast, but doesn't move? A solid state drive. <laughs> I got a text. That is very true though. Uh, that, was, that was a good joke. Nice one. Speaking of moving fast, you'll want to move fast to take advantage of NCIX's online only warehouse event with closeout deals of up to 80% off. Hard drives, TVs and monitors, PC components and accessories, increased self-esteem. They're all available, but only online. Click here and you can find something that you like or that you don't. Sometimes life is like that. All right, that's it for Nettling Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits. Subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Some of you might be wondering what was up with that intro.
uh, where I talked about the wall. All I gotta say is, you'll see. You'll see. Twice, I would say that. Two times.